Hey, Bagel. Thank you. You know what? I agree with you, Bagel. I think I can do this. I think this is the run. I know it'll be rough, but I think this is the sub-140. Bagel said it first. That's what I heard him say, and I believe it. It's happening, you're right. So lucky to have such a positive influence here, right at the start of the stream. Let's go. Good start, all thanks to all thanks to Craig. Craigla Bagla. I watched the first half of Hum's PB uh, just now. So there are a couple of things that are on my mind from that. One thing that was interesting, he said, I noticed he did the same Dark Hollow route as me. He didn't do the faster one. And he said that he thinks it's actually faster to do the route this way in Sparksless. And I'm not totally sure I see why, but I trust him, but I should ask him about that sometime. I'm not totally sure what he meant by that. Well, specifically, he said there are a few big guys you flame, uh, and it works better with this route to flame them and let them despawn. Maybe he was talking about these two guys. I guess in Sparks Full, you can uh, flame them and run past them to get their gem. That's probably what he meant. That would make sense. When I heard him say that, I thought he was talking about the other big guys in this level, but they should all be close to the same, regardless of which route you're doing. But yeah, he probably meant the other ones. That would make sense. Still no lamp hop and sparksless. Oh, actually, that is a route difference between us, is I run out and flame that big guy over there uh, before going to the side path, whereas Hum did the level basically normally. But I think, I think it is good to get him way back then. I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's good to do that. It's hard to say for sure. <laughs> Lil gold. I split a tiny bit early, but it doesn't really matter. I also saw Hum was doing the Vanishing Dogs and Toasty, so I don't have time save over him here from that. There were... 
there were really just a couple of minor things that I think I've been doing better than him, but I'm not sure. And his movement is crazy good, so, uh, yeah, it's not what I wanted. Shit. Because I'm supposed to charge that shepherd, not flame him. Fuck. Hey, Sperber Dorn. Get out of here. Oh, I hate that one. That dog teleports you under it super easily, and I wish it didn't. Really kind of wish it didn't. If I ever get around to practicing this game, this is a level I really need to practice sometime. Thank you, Bagel. I've been happy with how this has been going. Sproder Dorn, how did 14 Tally go today? Right. It's supposed to hit Toasty. The same flame as the dog. Really? For depression, ouch. Beetle does seem pretty tough. Summer Forest is really hard in uh, in that, isn't it? Hope. Shoot. second beetle back into your heart. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I was thinking about a routing thing recently that you might have input on, I don't know. It's not exactly what you usually do, but uh, you're just very familiar with Spyro 2 as a whole. With Sparksless 100%. Should I be doing early Ripto in that? Because you don't get early spark or extended Sparks range because you don't have Sparks. But also, Ripto's right there in Winter Tundra. Oh, I don't know. Also, I just had an idea about how to do this room that I should look at sometime. But also, if you do, if you do end on Ripto, uh, you don't have to wait to go back into uh, Dragon Shores and exit out. You can just end on the fight. 
Hey, Muzz. That's true, that does mean I don't have to do theater. However, I'm also sparksless, so I can do swim into theater. Because I think I do want fireball anyway, so I am doing that. I do have to learn swim into theater, I've never done that before. But, you know. But also, I'd be getting a bunch of gems from, um, you know, Winter Tundra levels, so I could just buy Head Bash before I leave. I don't know if there's a thousand gems between the Winter Tundra levels. I assume there are. I know, I know, buying Head Bash. Really? <laughs> you make a good point. I just realized I gotta be careful with that bull, or else I might accidentally zombie here. <laughs> and that'd be really bad. Yeah. Yeah, the backtrack to Winter Tundra would take a bit. That is for sure true. Time safe there. Cool. Yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna do another Sparks Lissando run, it's just been on my mind a little bit that I think the routing for that would be potentially more interesting than the routing for this. Because this is basically the same game, there's just a couple of level routes you do differently. But Sparks Lissando, there's... because of the whole early Ripto question, there's potentially a lot of differences. Co-op Spyro Hundo? You mean like, um... Like between two players getting 100% of everything? Oh, using the Spyro edit thing. Right. Huh. Hmm. Thank you, Craig. I feel like I'm playing pretty well right now. That can change, but I feel like it's going well right now. trying to think if there are any levels where it would be worth it to just do them early. Like, before Fireball. But I think unless you do a bunch of levels before Fireball, 
you're barely saving any time by going into them early. And almost every level uses Fireball for a bunch of things, so... It's probably not... not worth much. Oh hey, I have more time saved there. How about that? But yeah, it feels like... I mean, every level in Summer Forest, except Glimmer, obviously, uses Fireball in some fairly substantial way. I guess Colossus not super much, but to an extent, uh, there are things you get with Fireball and Colossus. Like uh, Idle Springs, there's the enemies that you want to snipe early to get um, get the builders moving sooner. I actually want that red gem right now. Well, yeah, but in Sparksless, every level is without <laughs> without yes. I remember that was one of the funnier things I learned about Spyro speedrunning as I got more into it, was just that um, extended sparks range saves at least as much time as early fireball in the hundo route. <laughs> early sparks range saves so much. It is ridiculously overpowered. Okay. Cause at a glance it's like Oh, sure, Spyro 2 is so fast, you have the fireball the whole time, but no, that barely makes a difference. Which actually, I mean, that's honestly true of a lot of speedruns you look at, and it's like, oh yeah, they do this massive glitch, that's why it's so fast, but even without that, you don't need that to be fast in whatever game you're talking about. Generally. Obviously that's not always true with everything, but that is true comically often. I have felt... I've been bad at this spin jump. Just really bad at it lately. Which is kind of upsetting, because it's easy. Oh, this was a room I saw him do differently. He just grabbed that, and then got the gems... Got the other gems after the dragon, instead of before, like I was. No, you still end up at a really weird angle there. I don't know. I don't know with that dragon. It's a weird one. Oh my god. around that way. Awful. Luckily, I have been consistently really bad at the spin jump, so I didn't even lose time to my best for failing it so much. If I can work out the timing, I should flame charge that chest coming out of Dry Canyon.
Oh, there was a really cool little piece of movement I saw Hum do here. And it didn't quite work out totally perfectly, but I'd like to see if I can recreate it. Really? Why is that not connecting? Here it is. That was weird. That's not a hard thing to do. So Hum grabbed those, and then ran over and did this. Ah, oh, damn, he caught that out of the air was the cool thing. That was the cool thing he did, and I wanted to try to do that. Nova, thank you for the raid. Oh, oh. we're fine. I hope everybody's doing well. Sparksless120 is my life now, so this is what I'm doing. Oh, actually, you know what? That means this run is blessed. Because Nova rated Hum in Hum's world record. Now Nova's rated me. That's free world record, right? That's how things work. I got lost. I forgot where I was going. Hold on. of people. I'm normally not good at keeping up with chat if there's more than like five people in chat, so everyone be prepared for that. <laughs> oh my god, I did that again too. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, for what it's worth, we have like two minutes to save in Misty Bog. So you can basically ignore my time comparison for a long time. <laughs> Also, oh, uh, no, that worked, okay. Also, world record is very unlikely. I've only been running this a couple of days, really. Or, like, I've only been back to running it a couple of days. We're creating crushed, granulated souls. It is. I love it for that. It's a good time. Blech. Oh my god. Kind of regret shifting my legs around just now. Not convinced that was the play. Oh gosh. Oh, here was a thing I'm doing different than Hum. I blow that mama out of the way. Um, and then jump over her after getting the gem. Normally, in Sparks Full Runs, you, uh, you blow that mama into the wall, let Sparks get the gem, and then run out of the way. But that's not gonna work here. Yeah, 140-26. The thing that surprises me loves to be glued. My sparksless goal is less than 10 minutes off of my PB. <laughs> and I, when I first started running this, when I first ran this however long ago, I, I was gonna be happy with like sub two. <laughs> I thought sub two sparksless sounded crazy. And now, now that's just kind of an expectation.
losing a bunch of time here. This was a bad shamp. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, and a couple of things to consider. Sparksless can't do credit skip. So that's like three minutes right there. But yeah, most of the time differences are pretty small. I don't know what that was. I shouldn't have hit the dragon then. Actually, I don't know about that one. Because you can just charge into the gem right there. There we go. I should do that wall bonk intentionally, I think. Hum did a crazy route here where he, like, went in a big circle around all of this, but I think I'm better off going that way. And Hum also skipped this dragon here, but I'm not going to be risky like that. I think people who skip that dragon are mad. later. Also, magic stairs here does technically work, but, well, it works a lot better if you're not stupid. Uh, but getting the gem sparksless is very, very hard. I haven't been able to do it, so. So I play that much safer than I otherwise might. Oh, okay. There he is. Oh my god, come here. <laughs> Shit. This category has really shown me that losing sparks in normal gameplay is not anything to be concerned about. <laughs> it's like, if you can do an entire 120 run within 10 minutes of your PB, then losing sparks for like half a level that shouldn't matter. Stew step? Let's go. Probably still lose time here because I suck, but should be okay. Also, I don't know. My splits have like four runs on them, so who has any idea how good my golds actually are? Yeah, see. It kind of is, Nova. Still not getting sub-30 peacekeepers, but that's okay.
Oh no, please not this again. I actually missed that thief the other day and had to run out of the room and come back in to get him. I felt very silly. Yeah, whatever, that works. It's kind of sloppy movement to get those gems on the side of the room, but it worked. Yeah, I agree, PC. It, uh... Sparks plus movement does look pretty smooth. All good, Nova. Have a good night. Thanks again for the raid. <sighs> I'm starting to try to do... Fancy spring chest double there, but I shouldn't. It's a really bad idea. <laughs> Trying to do a fancy spring chest double there just sounds like a really good way to get myself thrown off a cliff. Well, I also saw Hum those three for after getting these guys. Nearly died there. I've died in this tiny area a bunch of times over the last few runs. It's really easy to accidentally smack into one of those wizards. Wizard's shots. Oh, I also got these in an interesting order and I don't remember what it was. I remembered looking at it though and thinking, ooh yeah, that's smooth. Way smoother than whatever I was doing. Fuck. It's fine, that's not a huge time loss. It's not that bad compared to the other time losses I've had here lately. Don't jump like that, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yeah, this is a sparksless run. I'm using a memory hack to keep sparks off. So one health all the time, and I need to collect all the gems myself. Damn it! Oh my god, jump higher! No, it's not Emu, I'm doing this on console. I'm using not a game shark, but basically a game shark. It's a, a different memory hacking accessory for the PS1. But yeah, same concept. Uh, the memory hacking thing, it's called the Dragon Hacker. Uh, when I looked on eBay for PS1 Game Sharks, I found out they were kind of expensive. But I also found out Game Shark is a brand and not a generic term for memory hacking like I thought it was. Uh, and so there were a bunch of much cheaper alternatives available. Uh, the downside is it plugs into 
a port on the back of the PS1 that is not on every model of PS1. So I needed to, uh... I had a model already that it works with, but that model stopped reading discs at one point. And my other PS1s did not have that port, I had to get another one. Okay, this is gonna be a terrifying level, potentially. Imagine saying you're going to bed and not immediately going to bed, wow. SMH, my sleepy head. Yeah, they can be charged into. If they're starting to throw a tornado, the tornado can hit you, but you can charge into them. Oops. Oh, uh, okay. We still got it. Oh my god, gimme. Oh my god. <laughs> hit the gems. Those last three loose ones should not be that hard to get on your own. That's something you basically already do in any percent. Never read a line on the internet. Never happened. Okay, so the scary part is right here. I need to get a bunch of gems with the fairy flame and then get down to the, uh, the bugs, but this is hard. Come on, come on. Okay, I'll take that. I'll actually get that right now. It's good enough. It'd be really nice if I could also get that one loose green gem before running in, but that's it's really hard. Uh, thank you, camera, for just pointing straight down. It's what I wanted. It's what I want every day. Good bonk. Okay, as long as I don't do something catastrophically Catastrophically dumb in a minute here. This should be a gold. Oh yeah, the low speed. Where you get the supercharge off of the edge of the supercharge ramp? Yes. I think that was found last year sometime. I could probably put a date to it. I was the one that found it, but... Or most of it. Farnia pointed out that... Uh, you can, um, at the door. Oh, the cave strat, yeah, okay. I did not gold buy as much as I would have liked to. Which actually surprises me. I thought I would have saved a lot of time over my old gold. I guess I just messed up enough. Yeah, yeah, the in-cave stuff is very, very nice. It is absolutely slower than the normal one, but uh, but it's a lot easier, so I've been doing it. Mm. 
I guess that worked. Yeah. Oh my god, how did I get up there? That was so low. That was ridiculous. That shouldn't have worked. I did not deserve that. I'm gonna do a different route here. I just decided. It's a minorly different route, but it makes some things a lot easier. It makes exactly one thing a lot easier, actually. <laughs> Is the, the correct way to say it. Um, these three wizards at the base of this first supercharge ramp. The one... That last one I charged, his gem does not always home in when you approach it that way. And I keep forgetting that there's a different route where his gem is much more consistent. Which is what I decided to do at the last minute there. Uh, okay, camera, you wanna... thank you. Uh, okay, gotta be careful here. It's a minor thing. Damn it. I was thinking about here. There's this collection of three gems, and I think it's good to charge through that one before getting to Thief. So that when you turn around, you just have a straight line on the other two. Obviously, the stopping and turning the camera was not fast. I was just doing that to show what I was talking about. Hey, shoutouts to Lucas. There he is. Hey, Lucas. Oh, hey, Eliza. I know, I'm sorry it's more Spyro. I know this is an incredibly boring game. Hey, let's see if I can not beef these planes. Nope. I used to be good at those planes. I don't know what happened. For some reason, since I've been doing these Sparksless runs, I just can't seem to do them anymore. I'm doing... I should just practice the level. I should just do the level a few times. That's really the answer for every why can't I do this question. It's because I don't practice. I just do runs and expect to be good for no reason. some interesting calculations. I'd love to see the numbers you put in to figure that out. Be very interested in that, actually. Hey, Graffy. Mountain Dew would be on the phone for a sponsorship stat. Maybe if I stream herbs constantly. Will I am will want to make an appearance on my stream. Think about how much of that would boost my viewers by. <laughs> oh crap. Give me that other one. Thank you. I'd actually lose viewers. Interesting. 
You're so good at making calculations, Eliza. <laughs> Only like 60% sure I got that other blue gem on the moving platform. This is another difference I do, and I'm not actually sure if this is fast, but feels smart to me. Get that gem while you let Blowhard despawn. I don't know, that just that makes sense to me. Okay. Nearly just ran off a cliff there, but we're fine. I'm usually really bad at those two spring chests, so I get really happy whenever I actually get them. I really enjoy this level, but gosh, it's hard. <laughs> In a lot of ways, this is a very hard level. But I love it. It's so much fun. Speed running, let's go. I'm glad, Eliza. Glad I can provide a cozy experience for you. That's really not what I wanted. <laughs> oh god. That's not gonna work. Hold on. There we go. Uh, that's not gonna work either. I had a run recently where I died a bunch here, so I'm kind of trying to be a little careful. way out there. As far as a fun game. As far as a fun game to speedrun. Oh, the blanket's doing most of the work. Well, I'm glad I can also be there <laughs> for that cozy experience, at least. Oh, no! Uh... Yeah, there's no backup for that. That just kind of sucks. <laughs> cozy time, cozy time. Okay. Oh, I kind of wanted a double there. It's really easy to get a double on those spring chests coming from either direction. But I messed it up. Oh, no. Oh, no! This is unfortunate. This is, I'm losing a lot of time here. <laughs> I'm losing so much time here, actually, shit. Oh, well. It was a good run. Started out really well. Big Sheeper Ding! Oh my god, level 63! Go, Eliza! Oh my god! Awful. 
just awful. Big sheepies. Do you want to do more clubhouse and possibly grind RNG for hours, or do you want to move on? That's a good question. I do enjoy watching clubhouse, but I don't know. I don't know. I know you could improve a lot more, but also there's no guarantee that that improvement would happen anytime soon. What do you think you would move on to? I just got that double flame charge without looking at it. <laughs> Um, Miku is a bot that tracks chat interaction is all it is. The more you chat, the more experience you get. Basically, there's an algorithm to it. I should- I wish there was a way to have Miku only post level ups, like, once someone is level 5 or something. Because, like, I don't mind people asking about what Miku is, but oh my god, it happens so often that I get a raid or something, and people get to level 1 in one stream, and then never show up again. Which is fine. It's just, it's just kind of funny. I feel like it'd be a lot easier. It was only for people who, uh, who are actually around a lot. More Vortex or cleaning off Barbie. Hmm. Secret Ancient Barbie would be pretty fun to watch. Chad is gaming now. Oh, here's the level where we have, like, two minutes to save. I don't think... Great start. I don't think... Pander leveled up. Nice. I don't think it would be a bad idea to maybe pick a different Clubhouse Games category if you wanted to try doing more clubhouse games but without the RNG because that is a really fun game to watch in general but if you would only be interested in win all games then I'd say maybe put that down for a bit and move on to other stuff for now because I suspect you're gonna go back to clubhouse games eventually <laughs> It's not like you're putting it down forever. That would be my vote anyway. Yeah. I was thinking like win all board games or sports games or whatever those other smaller categories are. I guess not board games because that has Ludo. And not card games because that has almost all of the other RNG games. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I know there are others. Lucas, I have a question. If I beat your Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue world record, will you put that game on the list of games that you'll go back and try to PB in? <sighs> that is 
bad. <laughs> this is a terrifying level thrasher. I get it. This level still scares me. <laughs> Especially Sparksless. That frog was just hiding around the corner. What a jerk. Can anybody get the license plate on that frog? I should just be careful here. Hold on. Okay, I'll take that. I just wanted to get to the dragon. Let's just play this a little careful. Why? Why? Okay. Okay, we're good. Lucas. I understand that what would it get you, what would it take to get you to play Rocket Power Team Rocket Rescue again is a very serious question that really warrants a lot of thought. You don't want to answer too candidly there. God forbid you make some kind of promise to play that game that you later can't keep. I'm doing mostly okay on lives, but I kind of just want those anyway. We're getting to the point in the run where uh, it's just really easy to die all over the place, so extra lives are good. Laura, launch! Damn it! I've been so bad at this. There it is. Second try. It's a very impressive world record. Hey, we were talking about favorite gems to collect in this game the other day. Uh, the leftmost chest of that group of five chests coming back from that island is really satisfying once you get it down. I know I just missed it, but I usually get it, and it's really satisfying. Because <laughs> it's so hard to get that one when you're new, and even when you're an intermediate player, it's still hard to get that one. <laughs> But yeah, that one's a favorite of mine now. Dumb. 
I've been messing up spell not a lot lately too. That's been kind of bothering me to be honest. I don't think I did that, those five chests, all at once until I was, like, low 140s, and I don't think I was getting them consistently until, like, mid 130s. They're definitely hard. excited for that too. I've had my eye out for that game when I've been going to game stores lately. It's gonna be a long while before we get to it, but I'm excited. Should be finding a way to flame charge those. See if I can't find a nice line to take on it. So I think I might be walking too much through this run. Ugh. Hey. Okay. That's fine. Like, obviously, I kind of need to walk a lot to be able to get jumps precisely, but I'm, I'm probably walking too much. Hey, get that. Please. <laughs> So this is the vortex uh, pattern. I should be doing the vortex route there. Keep forgetting to do that. Keep trying to take some weird line with the poles that just never really works. goal time for this? Uh, yeah, actually, it's sub-140. <laughs> Hums PB is 140.26. And I'd like to, like to see if I can get a 139. So here's the thing, I would say sub-140 is totally unrelated to your goal of sub-140, uh, but it's absolutely not. Because I thought that would be cool, because, like, when I started playing Spyro, when I started, like, really getting into running it, sub-140 was my main goal for 120. I was going to get sub-140 and then reevaluate and see what I wanted to do. But... My goal was 140 absolutely because your goal was 140, <laughs> and you were the main Spyro streamer I was watching for a long time. Ah, oh, shit. 
this wall glide. When you die coming out of Metalhead, the rest of this level is fucking miserable. You either need to try to do a wall glide that I'm probably gonna fuck up, or I need to go all the way around here and lose a ton of time. It just, it sucks. It really sucks. I also need to figure out how to catch those gems. I guess 40 seconds isn't too bad. Maybe I just shouldn't go for that wall glide at all. I, I've been failing. I'm, I'm probably only like 30% consistent with that wall glide. I fail it quite a bit more often than I actually get it. Gimme. Fuck. Uh, be prepared for me to lose a bunch of time in this level. This is a hard one. This is just a really hard one, and it's really easy to lose a ton of time here. Both in normal 120 with my route, but especially in Sparksless. I use basically a Game Shark. I learned when I was looking into this that Game Shark is a brand, uh, and I use a non Game Shark memory hacker thing. called the Dragon Hacker. It has the name printed in big letters on it. very well collected. I wasn't expecting that to work out. <sighs> Getting gems from spring chests with super flame is really hard. Sparksless, I have found. I've done a run of two. Uh, it was about three hours long. Uh, and yes, I also want to figure out 117 and then do a Sparksless 337. I'm sorry, did I get the... I guess I did. The armor's gem. I didn't notice. Oh no. Okay. There's a couple of things that I need to figure out about Sparksless 117 on the memory hacking side. Um, but it should all be fine, I think. How bad was Gull? You know, I was surprised. I beat him first try. I beat him first try, and I didn't let him get any of the extra health. I was scared the whole time. You know, I think it was a similar kind of realization that, oh, this isn't as hard as I expected it to be, that happened with Sparksless 120. 
Or when I first did this, I thought this would be the biggest, dumbest meme in the world. And then I did a couple of runs and was like, wait a minute, this isn't that bad. And same kind of thing happened with Sparks Lissando. It just, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I was really surprised. Ooh, this is dumb. It's very dumb. Why did that not break? That's fine. That's fine. Give me the gems, though. Bye. Yep. Okay. Cool, we didn't lose time. Um, Sparksless 117 is going to be the worst, though, for a bunch of reasons. One thing, I, one thing we need to work out, I assume everyone's going to agree on this, because the point of Sparksless runs is really that you need to pick up the gems yourself. The fact that you're, you only have one health is just kind of incidental to that. At least that's how I feel about it. But if anybody, like, strongly disagrees and thinks like, no, for Sparksless you need to be on one health the whole time, there's all those sections in Spyro 3 where you have a health bar for something. And that includes boxing. And if we need to do boxing on one health, I don't think Sparksless 117 would be possible. But I imagine no one's gonna have an issue with saying, no, it's just the Sparks health needs to be locked at zero. All the health bar stuff is fine to just work out however it does. Also, this level potentially has the biggest, coolest thing that I do, at least. Huh? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, this level, as I was saying, has the biggest, coolest thing that at least I do in Sparksless Runs, where I try to get zombie on this dragon, but I'm kind of bad at it. Yeah, I missed it. Oh well. If I take damage the same time I hit that dragon, basically I'm invincible for the rest of the level. Which, this is a really hard level, so that's a really nice thing to have. But it's fine. It's, it's not that bad if we don't get it. Um, boxing health has nothing to do with Sparks health, but like, there's also Sparks levels. That's the other big one. Where like, you have a health bar that I believe is separate from Spyro's normal health. And I, I don't think any of this is going to be, like, an unsolvable issue. I think it's just a matter of I need to actually open the game and look at it, which I haven't done yet. Yeah. But yeah, I, I imagine everyone's going to be fine with just... Yeah. Yeah, with, with that, basically. And honestly, if anyone has a problem with it, fuck it, I'm the one doing a run. I guess it's really up to me. Damn it. Yeah, that's what Nitroff point. Nitroff's guess at what would happen is you would enter a Sparks level at one health, but any health you gain in the Sparks level would heal you, and then you would leave the Sparks level and just be Sparksless again. And that seemed like a pretty good guess at what would happen. That made sense to me. I am not playing this very well.
Oh, but anyway, aside from that, uh, I do feel like Sparkless 117 is by far going to be the worst of them. Gems in that game are just super spread out, levels are super big, and it's the one of the three games I'm least familiar with. So just by virtue of me being the one playing, it's going to be really hard. <laughs> That's a good point, Eliza. You make a really strong argument there. Yeah, if you can do that, Ansem, that'd be great. I imagine... Sparksless 117 is going to be easier than it sounds still, just because that's happened with 120 and Hundo, but, uh... Yeah. Remove Sparks from the NPC from the flight levels, that would be so funny. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. I know it wouldn't, but that would be hilarious. Yeah, like, I bet Yeti Race is gonna be a pain in the butt. Honestly, all skateboarding. Trying to collect gems sparksless is gonna be awful. But, like, it's not... It's not as bad as you think it is, it seems. Oh, that's unfortunate. Why did that... Whatever, it doesn't matter just a few seconds. Oh, that is neat. I'd never noticed that. I guess probably because I usually go into the sparks levels, or the flight levels at full health. What else? What else would be stupid hard in Sparksless 117? I found water levels in Spyro 2 were not as bad as I expected them to be. Did not get that. So I imagine even things like, I don't know, Lost Fleet, I guess, has a bunch of water stuff. Uh. Um. Evening Lake Homeworld. It's probably not going to be as bad as it sounds. Oh, Missing Gems. That's going to be awful. And that was a little difficult in Sparksless Hundo. Is just if you're missing a gem, you don't have any way to know where it is. You actually have to go look for them. Okay, let's continue on. That's fine. We're fine. I would gladly do ETD Sparksless any percent.
I'm sure I have a bunch of time save here, actually. Like, I can potentially gold this level by a ton. Leaving with one health will put you on green sparks. What do you mean? Like, leaving a sparks level with one health puts you on green sparks? Do I want to do here? Do I want to be dumb or cool? Those are the same option, actually. Do I want to be <laughs> dumb and cool or smart and lame? <laughs> gonna be dumb and cool. We're going for it. I'm going for it. Sparks health translates to spiral health when you leave the sparks level. Right, okay, yes. It's this jump. This jump is is pretty tight. Oh, we got it. Let's go. I don't want that life. I know what you're thinking, but Zando, you're on like eight lives. Why do you need more? I I want more. The run's not over yet. I want more lives. It's really easy to die a bunch of times in any of the remaining levels. A hey, 30 seconds. Dumb and cool, ooh ooh. So I'm best getting down there. Less than a minute off of world record. So that's pretty exciting. Maybe I'll just try a Sparksless 117 run this weekend and just see what happens. That's not right. If I get like 10 hours in and I'm still halfway through the game, I'll regroup and maybe try to get better at the game before trying again. <laughs> have people who know Spyro 3 in chat telling me where I missed gems. That would help a lot. Almost. Almost. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. We'll see if I have anything I need to do this weekend, also. What? Hey. That was not a hey at the game, that was hey at my thumb for not even trying to flame. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, let's maybe get any of those guys. Thank you. So I could probably be double spring chesting those. Oh god. Oh god. Everything about this. Oh god. We're playing bad now. I didn't want to hit him. Shit. <laughs> This is really bad. <laughs> well, no. It's only potentially really bad. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> nope, give me that one. Seriously, fodder, come on. Oh, damn it. That was my thumb pressing buttons wrong. Also, I should be going this way around this just to collect that a lot easier. Okay. Sure. Still save time. Neat. I really shouldn't be surprised by golds, still. Like I said earlier, I have like five runs on these splits. There is time save everywhere, and there is a lot of it everywhere. Okay, that was something, for sure. That was also something that I did not want. You really want to get those big guys when they're not holding a barrel. But I'm bad at that. Okay. I'm gonna wait. Okay, really surprised that worked out, but we're fine. Oh, that's fine, actually, that worked. I'll take it. There you go. Okay, I'll take that, sure. Hey Matt, I did. I did get a raid earlier. What are you talking about? I always have like a million viewers. Ha, huh. no. Of course I got a raid. No. 
Oh, sure. Sure. It's okay. Zandot Million Viewer Toaster. That's me. That's what I call me. Also, I just realized I read that as Zandot by habit instead of Zando. Yeah, probably. I guess I'll find out when I get to the end. Yes, 74 is the right number there. Okay. There we go. Good. That did collect. Miss the old Zandot. Whoa! Another 30 seconds! Oh, I get big raids from time to time. Not super often, but time to time. Dino Mines is going to be fun, Sparksless. It's not that hard to avoid the enemies in that level, but it's also really easy to accidentally get hit if you're not paying attention. Just gotta keep things off, off screen and stuff. Um, what else? Yeah, I kind of expected that. I jumped at that weird. Um, Agent 9 Fireworks Factory is going to be miserable. I don't think there's any way around that. is going to be a pain in the butt boss fight. Sit there. How about that? <sighs> okay. We have all of the gems. We didn't mess that up. do that. I don't know why I keep trying to get that thief that way. It's just because I'm not thinking.
Hard time to have here too. In uh, in this comparison, I think I missed a gem on one of the thief paths and had to do it a second time, and also did not one cycle nasty. Or I did one cycle nasty, but I had to go around nasty's track again to get a gem. I didn't really one cycle nasty. Yeah, this should go a chunk better, assuming I don't fall to my death right here. It's always a possibility. Okay, yeah. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Now we get to watch the credits. Just like every one of my 120 runs, PS1 CS less. Oh yeah, that's another thing about Hum's run. He was on PS2, I believe, with FDS. So he has like two minutes on me just from loads. PS2 when? None of my PS2s work with the uh, with this with the dragon hacker. After this run, I'm not going to do another one, but I've got a couple of PS1 games I kind of want to try out, so I'll play those for a little bit each, see how they are. I don't think he does. I haven't checked, but I don't think he does. If he does, I would be surprised. I know he's not a fan of Poverty Credit Skip. Just from that. This isn't going to be a hard PB to beat. Like, I had a few sizable time losses. I think I lost like 40 seconds in Terrace, and I don't know, there was time loss kind of all around, but it's not the same as having two minutes in Misty Bog, you know?
We tried. Oh. I was too close to that. Clancy Brown do voices in the other Spyro games, or was it just this one? Also, I think that's the first time I've failed the quick second plane in a Sparksless run. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it every run before this. So that's gonna be some time lost, just from that. no idea how to do these loot chests well. Should really be calling them loot boxes, huh? run around all of the gems. Just do a nice little slalom here. I think that's all of them. I'll just go to the vortex. Hey, we did it. Sub 145. Good start. Really good start. <laughs> I had time loss early on too, right? Toasty was kind of mediocre, but not that bad. Where was it? Cliff Town was pretty bad. Dry Canyon was also bad. It was a gold, but I can gold it by like another 20 or 30 seconds. But yeah, Clifftown had problems, Shemp wasn't great, Ice Cavern was not great. Alpine I had a death. High Caves can be a lot better still. But again, that can be said about like every level. Terrace Village was really bad. Treetops, I missed stone not a few times. And the, yeah, the end of Beast Makers was really bad. Okay, so I've still got, I've still got a number of fairly sizable time saves. I am not yet at the point where sub 140 feels like a stretch. I can still see myself potentially doing that with just a, a really solid run. It's not just the time losses, the big time losses. I do need to really work on my movement still. There's still just too much flailing around going on. That'll happen. That'll just kind of happen naturally as I keep doing this. 
I'm not worried about that. Okay, I'm gonna stand up for a second and grab the other PS1 games I wanted to play. Luckily, they are both right here. Okay. Okay. 